Hi, we're at the Romney Sands Park Dean Resort in the middle of August for a great British summer holiday. So first things first, I thought I'd show you around our caravan. We went for a Worthing caravan. Wasn't really sure what that is, but basically it's brand new and really nice. Let's take a look. Here's uh, the main living room area. Um, pretty nicely furbished, as you can see. Some comfy chairs. This one here turns into a bed for extra sleeping. Massive uh, TV on the wall and um, sort of a fireplace there as well. It's the breakfast area, breakfast bar there and a, a little, little uh, table for other meals. And a very nice kitchen too, look at this. Excuse all our mess. Great big stove, uh, microwave, cookers, fridge in here. Look at that, fully stocked, not by them. Booze, obviously. Um, and then two bathrooms. Here's the first one. Very nice. Shower in there. And there's another ensuite in uh, in our room. This is the uh, secondary room. This is where Leo's sleeping. Two beds in here. Gets two beds for himself. And here's the master bedroom, which, as you can see, is a very good size indeed. Uh, we went to a Euro camp last year there's a tiny bedroom you could hardly move around there's leo he's reading a bit of harry potter at the moment and then we can go outside here and uh got a very nice little veranda places to sit which is really nice this is what it looks like from the outside lovely little caravan British holiday is complete without a trip down to the seaside. As you can see, it's a glorious day. Uh, I've been down here for three or four hours, just uh, making sand castles, uh, sunbathing, and a couple of beers. Uh, Leo's had a brilliant time just swimming around. As you can see, the, the sea is clear and calm. I mean, it's been an absolutely lovely day. Um, really brilliant. I mean, I cannot recommend British holidays by the coast enough. You know, it's been years since I've done one. I've been going, you know, I've been wasting my time going to Greece and Romania and France and Spain and Japan. This is what it's all about, isn't it? Oh, Christ. One great thing about this caravan park where we've come to stay for a week is it's got its own fishing lake. Now, I haven't really done any fishing. Uh, for about 20, 25 years. I used to go a lot when I was a teenager. I've been a couple of times casually since. We came down last night, caught a lovely couple of common carp, and uh, come back this morning to hopefully try and catch one more. He has been helping out. Uh, we're going very basic. Just a bit of bread. And the end of a hook with a little float see what we can catch.
go. Beautiful. Oh, I don't know how big. Ever. I'm a bit out of practice with uh, weighing them, but beautiful. Put him back. Absolutely gorgeous. So today we've just come down the coast a little bit to Dungeness, which is a really beautiful place. It's a, it's a nature reserve, although it's got a bit of a, sometimes got a bit of a dodgy reputation because it's also got the power plant over there. Just behind us there is the old lighthouse, which is really beautiful. And we're hoping to climb up that, but unfortunately it's closed because of COVID. So we're gonna have a wander around, uh, head down to the beach and then head to the Britannia Inn that does excellent fish and chips. really love coming to Dungeness. It's got a kind of a real desolate beauty. I've come here, I think, at all times of the year. I've been here right in the winter. I've been here in autumn, spring, here now in what's supposedly summer. I'm not sure that I've ever been here when it hasn't been windy with at least a few spots of rain. I'm sure it must be nice here sometimes. It must be nice and warm and sunny here sometimes. That is what Dungeness is like for me. That is what it is. It's, it's a windy desert of a place. I'll tell you what I love though. I love throwing stones into the sea. I don't know why, I just love throwing stones into the sea. I could sit here for, a, I reckon, at least 25 minutes just throwing stones into the sea. I've just caught our fish and chips. The weather is not looking great, so I'm just gonna basically gobble it down before it rains. But this looks amazing. Okay, it's Friday at the caravan park. There's a brief respite from the rain. So me and Leo, Leo are doing a special obstacle course and whoever is the fastest wins. If you fall off, you lose. Are you ready, Leo? Yeah! Are you gonna win? Yeah! Leo's going first. Finish! 59.46 seconds is the record to beat. I think I can do it, Leah. Yeah. No. So it says one minute. Well, we've reached the last evening of our holiday in a caravan park, and regular viewers will know that I do like to end my vlogs with a really big ending. Fortunately, I haven't really got anything to end this week's vlog with it's just the end um, we've mainly played crazy golf that was weird. Uh, it's been extremely windy we did have a trip to see some incredible sound mirrors that were built to detect enemy aircraft uh, between 1928 and 1930 they were interesting and I've done quite a bit of fishing so I thought I'd end my uh, trip my windy fairly cold summer holiday trying to catch one more carp let's hope I can do it see you next week